Okay, so welcome back to the ranch. I had a uh, water flow issue. I got no water flowing in the house. So we need to check to see if the, the switch is closed. The little pressure switch right there is, let me concentrate on the screen first. That pressure switch right there is closing to make that motor start to make the really bits go. First, the one thing you want to make sure is you have power going right to here. Me being uh, smart, got 245 volts going there. Breaker's on. Okay. Got the trusty little uh, meter here. Put on the V with the squiggly line. Grab that with the other hand. So you have to be good at Chinese ship chopsticks. So they remember these are coming into here, are coming the power coming in, and they're hot. So if I go take my meter, line line, get 244 volts. You can see here the switch is closed. So theoretically, these two should ring out the same as the outside ones because these are connected through this little contact going back over here so but I have nothing but if I go sorry I think I stopped recording there for a second it wasn't an edit on intention intentional so directly if I go from here to here we get, still get 244 volts because it has to go through this contact and back to here. Now, if we go from here to here, that should be 244 volts. So that tells me that this contact right here is the one that's bad. And yes, it's pushing. I'm pushing on it. It's not going in. You, but and here's a trick thing. If I bet all these will bring out to 120 volts to, to ground. Shoot, drop my rope there gotta do my Chinese chopsticks routine here so got 120 120 123 120 and 120 the reason why is that this is closed this is going through the windings and coming back around and showing up here so you're just reading it through the windings so that's why you always want to go to the face-to-face -to, -face to actually read it I'm gonna see if I clean these contacts out really quick and get her down the road because I really don't want to replace that the con lift this pressure switch and do all the tuning to it so give me a second if you see it running great all right before we put our booger picture bigger piggers back in there make sure on the V with the squiggly line And check it. See that 2.6 volts? That's just resi residual going through the line. So that's dead. Now, let's see if I can do this one handed. No. Wrong side. Nope. Still dead. Let's just take that in. Because they normally, they normally sit like this when it's pressurized, but they close like that. See, this is the part you don't want the kid around because the kid would go, oh, let's do him a favor and turn the freaking breaker back on. All right. That should get us down the road. All right. Clear gas away. Ugh. 
so theoretically that should fire up now. Hmm. Waiting for it to build pressure. And that's what they're supposed to do. See how they're open now? The pressure is um, overcome the spring and open it up. This big one is for the actual um, is actual pressure you want. This is the low small one is for where you want to kick on. That's a kickoff. So you gotta adjust those to get the pressure right. And if you don't know what the fuck you're doing, don't fuck with them, please. Anyway. Um, oh, by, by the way, I forgot to mention, gotta get it with Leatherman Wave. This guy, this Frostback, up in uh, the Kanukistan, told me about him, and I'm starting to carry one. It's actually been freaking perfect. Anyway, you guys have a great night. Bye.